It's mail time. I've been pretty lazy with my mail, folks. I'm very sorry. I've just had a lot on, and this has been piling up. So let's rip through it. Let's start off with this one. I've started putting dates when they come in. That came in on the 21st. Yeah, let's find out what's inside. These look like tiny 85s. Excellent. I'm gonna pull them out, why not? Ooh, how many of them are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, nine, twenty. Yeah, there should be fifty, I think. I'm gonna hope there's fifty. That's what I ordered. Let's see if we can get them back in the bag. Lots of AG Tiny projects, as everyone knows. Next, we have this was on the 28th of the 8th. Pretty exciting. Testing socket. So some of the mail has been sitting here for a while and some of it hasn't been. Whoa, bent pins. Why can't they stick it in polystyrene or something? Wow. Anyway, this is another socket programmer. But this is a smaller one. This is for a 32 pin QFP package. These are for my SAMD 21E, which are 32 pin chips. I got this as a backup in case my new manglers that I'm making for my SAMD 21Es don't work. This is completely bent out of shape. Bad, very bad packaging. Okay, we have no date on this one, but I think I know what it is. Yep. Okay. So these are buttons, 100 buttons. Now, these are Reflow Master buttons, except they're not now because I'm using them on lots of projects because I really like the right angle buttons. So I'm very happy with these, but these look too short. And that is really annoying. Maybe they're not. Let me go get measuring. Okay, so these are supposed to be 6 mil, I believe. Maybe they're 4. I thought I ordered longer ones. Oh well, I got 100 of them. I will find uses for them. I kept running out with my Reflow Masters. This is the only Reflow Master package I'm going to open. I have seven packages over there that I'm not going to open on video because they're all Reflow Master related. I think everyone's had enough of that. Okay, next we have, this was the 29th of the 8th. These are ESP8266 12Fs. You can tell by the antenna. So, 10 12 Fs, these are for my Wi-Fi clocks. Excellent. Okay, this one, 29th of the 8th. Now this will look familiar to people, but maybe not so familiar. Whoa, another one of those not OLED, another one is IPS panel screens, color screens. So let me just get the other one. So this is one I got in a previous unexpected mail. The one where I said it was an OLED, but it actually isn't. And this is actually on a board. It's a module, so it's ready to go. But I have never actually mounted one of these myself. Wow, that is a really shoddy soldering job. Normally they'd be in a socket. So I don't know why this one isn't. Anyway, I've never mounted one of these myself on a board. And I thought, why not get one and try it? So they're the same screen. Same driver, same everything else. But... It's a separate one, so I could potentially design my own board for this to go on. So that's what I did. I got myself one as a module and one standalone. Not sure when I'm going to get to this, but I look forward to making something out of it. Next, we have, is there no date on this? This is HF255. I don't know what HF255 is. I have no idea what's in here. Uh, I think this is more Reflow Master stuff. These are more power switches. These are the switches I'm using. Okay, well, anticlimax. Next, I know this came a long time ago. This came end of July. So, I've been avoiding opening this because I've actually, this took so long to get here when I originally ordered it that I ended up buying parts elsewhere. 
but what I have in really wow so I've got caps and resistors I got through hole and I've got surface mount so these were ordered for my segment displays there's some 360Rs, there's some 390Rs, all different values, but I'm not using those now, I'm using 100s. So that was a bit of an investment for nothing. That's okay, I'll use them for something. These are just an assortment of all types of passives, and they put them just in one bag. I hope they're all labelled. Right, I can see here, 430R, 10UF, wow. What a crazy way to send me passives. <laughs> so there's about 3,000 passives here of different values. Three or 4,000. Wow, I'm going to have to uh, find a storage solution for that. Okay, lucky last today is this big box, which I'm going to have a lot of trouble opening, I think. I have to be careful. I don't have to be careful what's inside. I can't destroy what's inside. I'm pretty sure I can't anyway. It's supposed to be metal. This is something that I got, which is way smaller than I expected it to be. Can I pull it out? This is something not many of you are going to need. <laughs> to say, to put it politely. But something that I'm going to try. Whoa, come on. Oh, that's sharp. This is a honeycomb ish style bed that I can use in my laser cutter in my K40. Right now I'm using a stainless steel plate which is pretty thin and it tends to get very dirty with all the gunk that comes off like acrylic or wood when you're cutting it all the glue. It takes a lot to clean it all the time. The idea of this is that the bits and the junk can fall through. It's galvanized steel which is normally something you don't want to cut with a laser cutter but because of the angle it's on, there's very very little surface area that's actually being hit from the laser. And so these are pretty safe to use. And this is actually way smaller than I thought it was going to be. Although I'm sure it's the right measurement, but my understanding was that this inside was the measurement, the cut area, and this is the frame on the outside. It looks to me like the whole thing is the measurement, which is pretty disappointing. I don't know how I'm going to use this, it's very thick, I'm going to have to completely re-level my laser. And I'm also worried about all the little bits falling through that I need, like the decimal points on my laser 7 segments and X segments are going to fall through there when I cut them. I don't know how I'm going to get them back out again. Anyway, that's today's mail. It was a nice and quick one. Thank you for watching. I hope you saw something that interests you, maybe, and if not, that's okay. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.